Okay, so for this episode, we're gonna talk about neem oil. That was an interesting intro, wasn't it? Did it really captivate you? No? Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try a different one. Let's see if that works. Hold up. I should really start using that guard thing I have for my wrist. Ouch. Yeah, so we're talking about neem oil today and how it can heal your skin. Seeing as I just hurt myself, I might just need that. But yeah, let's get to that point. <clears throat> okay, so if you've never heard of neem oil, it's this really stinky and pungent smelling oil that comes from plants. But let me tell you, this oil is amazing when it comes to like healing the skin. It's extremely high in antioxidants, which fight off those free radicals, which get to your skin and cause like age spots and wrinkles. So if you can get past the smell, you'll love this stuff. Now, I do make a number of products with neem oil in it, including like the melanin or the aurelia or something, and you can't smell it because the essential oils I'm using on top of it, like neutralize that smell. But trust me, by itself, it's rough, but it does an amazing job of eczema, like drying that, well, not drying it, but like moisturizing that stuff, it's ridiculous. So, if you, <laughs> just think about it. Like, it's, it's not bad, it's just not, really good if that makes sense so so like I said it's it's really high in vitamin E and fatty acids which help improve skin elasticity so you got like the saggy fat the droopy face like the dopey droopy dog face so you got that going on some of this stuff will really help like tighten it up you know and it just and it retains moisture too that's really a good part where it like really helps lock in the moisture because of its high vitamin E content so yeah, if you can get past the smell, like I said, you're gonna love this stuff. If you can't, you'll probably hate it. Yeah, you'll probably hate it. Okay, so when it comes to, to like acne, it just, this stuff is really good. It's anti-inflammatory and antibacterial, so it gets rid of all the acne causing dirt and bacteria and also reduces the swelling and the redness and stuff that you'll get when you have like a, when you got like a big nasty joint like the, just so like, it, just so like, it won't, it won't let it happen. Like I said, it stinks. I cannot stress that enough. It stinks. It's an acquired smell that never smells good, but it is so, so good. So, so good, so good. So if you like have it, mix it with like some tea tree oil or some cedar wood or clove bud, don't do lavender, it's too, so you need something strong, like something powerful to knock the hell out this smell. But it's really beneficial. Can't stress it enough, it stinks, but it's good for you. Now, when you use it in your hair, it does do a great job of like stimulating hair growth, especially when you're massaging and stuff like that, and again, locking in that moisture. So it's very good for that. That's why I use it in the melanin, like the in shower hair and body moisturizer from Nettergold. It does a great job of like, like I said, keeping that moisture. Like it does, like, it does, oh, this stuff works so well. It just smells so bad. Like, ah, like if I do the wrong like combination, like a little bit too much neem to essential oil, it's gonna, you're gonna smell like a rank outdoor puppy that's been dragging its butt through its own butt while licking its own butt. Yeah. Yeah. Now it does like, it does penetrate the skin pretty deeply though. So it does give a nice barrier to protect you against outside elements, you know, like the wind or bugs or the sun or something like that. So it does make a nice little housing to like heal scars and wounds and stuff. So this stuff is really good. Like I said, it is really great. And the smell, that's just to me, the smell kind of, it smells kind of rank. Um, but I have pretty much discovered the perfect combination. So I don't make those errors like I did a couple years ago when I first started using this stuff. But yeah, so if you are interested in trying some of that, give it, give it a shot. Like I'll link below some of the products that have neem oil in it and you just give it a shot and let me know what you think. Cause well, I, I already know what you're gonna think. You're gonna love it. So that's first and foremost. But also I will say one more thing. Uh, do me a favor and like, like subscribe and comment. Um, yeah, like as friends, like let's just do that, right? Like you like and you subscribe to this channel just because you want to, like no other reason why you, you know, <clears throat> you know, just, just, ah, just do that, just, ah, you know, like I'm not saying like, ah, 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 right? That's just weird, like, ah, 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 yeah. Okay, side note about this whole knife thing. 
I've always found it very weird, right? So like, this is how you hold a knife, right? This is like a real old rusty knife I took from a drawer. I don't cook with it or anything. I use it for like cutting drywall sometimes. But like, okay, look at this knife, right? Now look at this little handle part here, like this little under part. Why do I need a, like a thumb rest? This is like a perfect thumb rest for like stabbing. I'm just throwing it out there, like look at this. So if you look at your knives that you have in the house. This little angled thumb rest, why? Like, why? 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 